I learned a lot of things. I've been doing me, I've been doing okay. Come fuck with me, be my Beyonce. Know you love me, but your girl, you're crazy. She's so great. All right, welcome back to Let's Help You Grow, because I'm here to help you grow. Today's video pretty much is going to be me reacting to Pharrell advice on how to be creative. You know, Pharrell is really big in the game. He's been around for a long time. And he, he created some big hits, you know, even hits that was played on um, movies like The Speaker Um, So, you know, let's get to it. way to look at things. Saying who was a great football player too. And he could play baseball. People don't know, but like we're pluralists. All of us do do more than one thing. You, you do more than this. You're passionate about a dozen other things and you're really good at it. This is what creative people do. They don't just all do one thing. Art support. So failure to me, um, I did a reaction video on Mac Miller. Um, I don't know if that video is out at the moment or not, but I know he was talking about you're not that way. Like artists that make music, the fans think they're supposed to be this way 24-7. Are they are that way 24-7? Like, no. And I know um, either someone said it or 21 Savage said it himself, but he said he cries or some shit like that. Um, and everybody does that. Is it, I'm not coming up to him savage for crying or whatever. Well, I think he did say that in the interview that he that he cries, something like that, at night, something like that. And I'm not trying to make fun of Trinidad or anything like that. I'm just saying what he said. So with that being said, stop trying to put yourself in a box and stop trying to act like you need to stay doing this one particular thing. Not only that, you know, you got artists like 50 Cent, like Ice Cube, you know what I'm saying? Like, they was making music, and the next thing you know, they switched to movies and TV, sh TV shows. You can do stuff outside of music, bro. You don't have to just stick. You don't have to just stick with, um, with music or anything like that. Like, I don't, I don't know who, 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 who told you guys that, but you don't have to just stick with it. Let's get into it. It is less about that word and, and the awe, undeserved awe that we put on it. And I, I, I kind of repurpose it to, as a lesson, right? The issue is, it's like you fail a bunch of times and you're just like a failure, right? But if you don't learn the lesson a bunch of times, then you're just like someone who enjoys losing. One of my greatest issues in the past was vetting. You got to vet people. The other thing is, Find people who are so much better than at their job than you are at your job. Yeah, hey, yeah. You know what I mean? Especially if it's your company. Like yeah. everyone in there should be better than you. Meaning they've gone through crisis before. They can deal with crisis management. You know what I mean? Force majeure. Like anything happens right now, they got it. They've been through it before. I never ran track, but I've always heard that like if you ever want to be faster, you got to run with a bunch of people who are way faster than you. And there's something that happens with us as humans. When you are surrounded by those who are like superior in, 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 in their performance than you are, you're bound to be lifted up if you're as ambitious. If not, you're wasting everyone's time. On the other side of your discomfort is where your real true journey begins. You know, when you're walking around, you know, you've decided, oh, this is my walk. You know, this is the way I stand. Oh, when I stop, this is how I stop. And this is what I do. And this is what I do with my hand. And when I take my first step, this is what I do, right? That's not really who you are. That's choreographed. And that is practice. And that is what you've decided is the coolest way from your point of view. But the minute that you trip and fall, when you hit that ground, that's who you are. And if you really want to know who you are, it's how you get back up. When you get back up, because you have no cool on you then, right? You're getting up in, sh in, in shame or you're getting up in pride. Whatever it is. That's who you really are. So one, find something that you love to do. Something that you would do for free just because you were happy to be there. Like you'd be happy to be an intern. Number two, try to find like a vocation connected to it. 
Do whatever it takes. Find a vocation that is connected to something that you love so much that you would show up for free. Number three, if you can find a way to service humanity as well with that job, well, now you have a dream job that you wake up every day and feel like you get paid for free and you are also contributing to karma, good karma or goodwill. Like that's the reason why you start a business if you're going to start one. When we went in the studio with Dirt Lines, it was more or less like, let's just do something. Fun. So just to piggyback to what he was talking about, um, you know that saying, they always say, whatever you was doing as a kid for free, nobody didn't have to tell you to do it. That's not technically what you're supposed to be doing, but that's pretty much compares to what he what he's speaking of, what for real speaking about. Um, even with me doing these videos, bro, I do this, I watch this stuff on a regular, so I'm going to give you a little backstory. Like how the reason why I do this right now is because I'll be watching YouTube and I'll be watching certain stuff, and I'm like, okay, bro, I'm not, I'm not, um, is this recording still? Okay. It was like, oh, I'm sorry. But um, I was like, shoot, since I watch this on a regular and I don't really care about being out there, so to say, um, and I do this just because I enjoy doing it, like enjoy watching these videos, let me record myself watching these videos. And it just correlates with, with what I got going on. Because I didn't, when I first started Let's Let's Go Now, I didn't know I was going to be doing, you know, videos like this, reaction videos and stuff like that, because I do reaction videos on my main YouTube channel with dealing with my music. So I was like, okay, let me start doing it on Let's Help You Grow now too. You know what I'm saying? And I'd rather do it on here anyway, other than the music stuff, but I'm going to do it with the music stuff too, because I actually like watching certain stuff. So you guys got to figure, like, you don't have to, but you need to figure out something that you do, because it's something that you do you, that you do right now on a daily that you might not really notice that you can really be getting paid for. Anything that you really do in 2022 for real, you really can get paid for it. For real. But you got to be willing to do it for free first. You know what I'm saying? That's how you find out what you really like, et cetera, et cetera. You know? So let's get back to the video. Hopefully this That's, is still recording. Because you know, so if it's serious. not, I'm going to be bad. Like, what is a man about? We have good lives. You know, like, let's Let's push that. But let's talk about that a little bit. Kids don't think like that. They think like, do I like you or do I not like you? Do I believe what you're saying in this record or do I not believe what you're saying? In this yeah. What you're saying and what you're doing does this resonate with me? The melody is it? You know, am I convicted by it? For a lot of us when we're young, it's like, oh, the big houses, the Ferraris, you know, depending on who you're talking to, chicks. The spray on dance, you know, the jewelry for some people that 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 means a lot. Um, and definitely, I've made songs that 100% would uh check that box, but more importantly, what's always been important to me, man, is the music. Right. What, what advice would, would we give to a, a young artist watching? I would say, believe in your direction, oh, wow. and I'm sorry, you guys. I hate when I do stuff like this. See, it, it, and it happens, but that's how you know I really like this because this is super aggravating. Now, um, just to, just to piggyback a little bit, um, I don't even know what he said. Bro. We'll have to go back, you guys. I'm sorry. It it, it happens like that. Um, and definitely, I've made songs that 100% would uh, check that box. But more importantly, what's always been important to me, man, is the music. Okay, there we go. What, what advice would, would you give to us? All right. Now, again, what did he say? What's been more important to him is the music. So it don't matter what you're going through. And I, and I told, you know, some people before, I was like, bro, Whatever, not saying if you're going through something, just, you know, because your career, like what you do on a creative basis or a work basis, because, you know, you can go to you can go to work, and you can go to school. Right. They tell you, don't bring what you 
got going on from home to school or don't bring it to work. You know, I know y'all heard that saying, and that's so true. And I know y'all heard the saying of what happens in Vegas State and things. So whatever you're going through personally, yeah, put it in your music, you know, put, definitely put it in your music if that's what you choose to do. And that's what I really, you know, uh, suggest you do. But at the same time, this is two separate things. Never, like how they say, don't mix business with pleasure. That's facts. Because once you do all that, that's when everything just falls down. You know what I'm saying? So you got to learn how to separate the two. You know? Yeah, let's get back into it. Young artists watching. I would say believe in your direction. And like also, uh, let's say this one more thing. Also, always put the music over everything. Else. Before a relationship, before this, before that. Because that's all you're going to have, you know? That woman or that man can wake up one day and be like, I don't want to be married to you anymore. Then what you going to do? You feel me? But at least if you still got your music, you know, you got your studio, you can go and record a song. That's just real stuff. See, I'm going a, I'm to a be real with you guys. I ain't going to sugarcoat like these other people be sugarcoat. Let me tell you, it's really, it's really going on. And do it. Spend less time talking about it and more time trying to like perfect it and put it out there and you know, do this fire. The kids will sniff it out, they always do. Um, wait, yeah, yes, sir. What what makes you so thankful? Uh, self awareness, yeah, you know, recognizing the gift that it is to be alive, the gift to be able to do what I love to do every day, the gift to be able to take care of my family. The gift to be able to serve, all those things. I'm grateful for all of that. Our success is defined by all the people who help you, all the people around you, um, all of the factors, you know, in the equation, for, there's an equation for success. And you're only one, you know, um, you, know you, you yourself are only one part of it. There's a constellation of like, many contributors to my success. When I turned 40, I understand. I understood that it wasn't me. And I realized, because I would say, oh, we're going to do this, and it would work or not work, right? And then when it worked, you're like the man. When it doesn't work, it's like, oh, let's try again. Those are the things that humbled me because I didn't, I didn't plan it. And when you don't plan it, and it becomes bigger than anything that your ego had ever made before, then you then you then you, you stop beating your chest and you start putting your hands together and saying thank you and, you know get lucky happy any of those songs you know I didn't I, I didn't I didn't see it you know so for me I'm like oh okay I, I get it I get it I'm just I'm literally just a molecule in a in a in a great body of existence and some of which I have some control over but a lot of it I don't. When you realize that, that's when you start really enjoying life because like great things happen and you just know, wow, this is bigger than me. Yeah, uh, just to piggyback on that, just on everything that he, that Pharrell had mentioned, um, I'm going to tell you guys this. Now, I've been making music seriously for five years now. I've been rapping, um, stuff like that since I was 12 years old. Now, I didn't shoot my first quote-unquote professional music video or whatever until high school at the age of 17 years old. The song is called Zodiac Signs Suited. And that was my first time going to a quote-unquote professional studio. Um, and I did not know it was going to play out that way. So majority, I'm not going to say all, the majority of my music videos, one of my biggest music videos, I did not know it was going to turn out like that. Like, it'll be simple as, okay, I know we finished shooting a music video today. I know the location. That was planned it out. But as far as the people that was ended, what I was going to be doing, the movements, um, just how it was going to come together, being directed, I didn't know how it was going to turn out, bro. Literally. And that goes for the songs, too. Like, I'll be recording songs because I, 
Like I record songs based on how I feel. And that's what I recommend you guys to do. And I'm going to be putting out stuff. Um, of course, that's, it's going to be in courses about how to record songs and stuff like that. And I'm going to be putting out free stuff as well um, about, you know, working on your music, songwriting, all types of stuff. All that stuff is coming soon. But um, just stay tuned. But other than that, yeah, man, it's like the best things do happen unplanned because you could plan something out and it don't go no way that you thought it was going to go at all. You feel me? Which can be a good thing or a bad thing. But in my case, it was always good. Like, I go shoot a music video and, you know, I didn't even, like, when I first started, like, my first two to three music videos, I really didn't have no money to pay them. Not only that, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have no, I didn't, I didn't know who to really contact to be like coming to music video. You know what I'm saying? As far as like models and stuff like that, and, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So I remember just going to a video shoot. It was just girls there. It was just motherfucking people there, and they just, of course, voluntarily. Um, and I should, yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta talk about that too of how to plan music videos um, and how to, get, how to get people in your music videos without paying. You know what I'm saying? Now that's just if you want a tight, tight budget or you don't have no money, like you can grow. Stop listening to people that tell you that you need money for everything. You don't need money for everything. I promise you that you do not. That's a, that's a lot. Especially when you're chasing your dream. You don't need money for everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? You need money, you know, but you don't need money to make it. You don't need money to create. You don't need money for a lot of stuff. That's that's a myth that, you, that they be having you guys so stuck on. And that's why some of you guys not doing nothing now because you think you need a million dollars. You think you need that, that, that Lamborghini in your music video. You think you need that big ass chain on you in that music video. That's why you're not doing anything right now. That's why you're not going at it because you think you need all this stuff, right? Because I, I remember me talking to someone that's in my program. Shout out to, um, well, I tell everybody this, but yeah, talking to someone in my program, I was telling him, like, bro, whether you got a million dollar microphone, million dollar studio, or uh, a five dollar microphone, five dollar studio, that doesn't determine if that song is going to be a hit or not at all. So stop thinking you guys need money for everything. Bro. Just do you, do what you, use what you have right now and do what you can right now. Like right now, I'm doing a reaction video. I'm doing it straight off my computer, bro. And I'm going to I'm gonna create, uh, I'm going to tell you guys how to do this to get started. And I'm using like a rain light or something like that. So I don't have the best, I don't have like expensive cameras recorded me right now, but that is, I'm not going to let that stop me from doing what I'm supposed to be doing right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let that stop. I'm using what I have to my advantage. Now, of course, I want a big-ass studio. I want um, expensive cameras all around. But we're going to get there. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're going to get to a million subscribers. I'm at 2 point whatever K subscribers that I'm super grateful for. Appreciate you guys. But at the same time, I'm not rushing it, and I'm good. You know what I'm saying? That, all, that, all that stuff is going to come. Feel what I'm saying? So let's get back to it. Be yourself. Nobody else can. If the box is right here, then you're thinking way over here. What keeps Pharrell living with us? Individuality. Mm -hmm. You know what? If everybody else is, you know, what, what, what is it, four or five? Mm -hmm. so I got like 29 million highways out there. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Right? Take a trip on the house. If everybody mm -hmm. you know, got traffic there, yeah. you get off on the next exit, you go somewhere else. I think that like individuality is a it's a wonderful thing. It's the reason why Drake is so good. It's the reason why Lord is so good. You know, how the creator of our future, and Kendrick Lamar. Like these are all like none of those guys sound alike. Yet at all. They're all out at the same time. So it's betting on yourself and betting on your difference and appreciating the rarity of, of how you think. Yeah, this this video was a ton of value from him. And I know I gave a ton of value as well. I always, every time you watch my video, bro, you want to get value. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this was unexpected. You know what I'm saying? I saw this video. I was like, hmm, let me check this out and let me react to it as well. Because uh, I know, I know it was going to be some good nuggets. So hopefully y'all, 
hopefully you guys got some value from that. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and check the links in my description, bro. I'll be having a lot of links in my description. I just don't offer streams. Bro. I have stuff about the music business that you need to know. Because what you guys need to know is, because I know you guys want to be famous and you want to have all the cars, all that. I get that. Look, man, first off, that stuff is going to come. Right? But if you get to learn everything about the music business right right now, for, for you guys who, and it's nothing wrong with it, but for you guys who really want to sign to a record, record label or you want a record label to sign you, whatever the case may be, you want to be super famous and all that, which is nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying it is, but for you guys who want to, you know, be, be living like that, why not get the knowledge about the music business right now? That way, when you do walk in the doors or when people do hit you up, labels do offer you deals, you will know how to put yourself in the best situation. You will already know where to register your music. You will already know your royalties. You know what I'm saying? Like, you will already know simple stuff, bro. You will already have your label. You know what I'm saying? Like, you will, ha you will have everything set up. So, just go check check out stuff on my website. It's gumroad.com slash let's up you go now. Um, just go take a look. You know what I'm saying? You don't even, even if you don't have no money right now, or you're tight on budget, or whatever the case may be, still go check that stuff out. Because I, 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 whatever I'm doing, putting it back, giving back to you guys. You know what I'm saying? So that's just a, you know, a suggestion. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let's help you go. I learned a lot of things. I've been doing me. I've been doing okay. Come fuck with me. Be my D.